My name's Kevin Downing. I'm about to chair the QS Square debate. Thank you, Alison. I'm glad to see you here. I didn't manage to find you this morning. Um, we have four combatants for the debate, and right now, um, the QS staff are handing out um, a piece of technology which allows you, the audience, to vote on the debate. Um, this is the little bit of technology. Can I just check? Has everyone got one of these? If you haven't, yeah, can you put your hand up and look angry and the QS people will bring one around? All right, let's introduce um, our distinguished panelists. The, the uh, motion before this group today is that universities should only produce graduates that employers want. Universities should only produce graduates that employers want. Now, this is a, a deliberately provocative statement, obviously, um, but it is one that each one of us in this hall probably faces almost every day. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am here to argue for the motion that universities should only produce graduates that employers want. And the scope of this motion is about universities boosting the employment of our students. By producing graduates that employees want, universities play an important role. There are countless reasons why this proposition is demonstrably and fundamentally flawed, but time is short, so I'll focus on just two reasons. The first one is that to prepare grad only the graduates that employers want is impossible, if pr impractical, if not impossible. And to do so, more importantly, to do so would actually be a a failure of our responsibility as knowledge leaders and would be to the detriment of society as a whole. We need to remember that employers are like politicians. Often they have a very short-term view. So we need to find out what they want at a time. Then, they need, then we need to create opportunities for our students to develop skills concurrently with the academic skills and technical skills. So whose appetite we universities should aim to satisfy is a key issue. I believe it's all down to maintain flexibility in our teaching. Uh, I'll share with you an experience we had in our university. We graduate students. Some of them, they join the public sector. Some of them, they join the private sector. Some of them, they start up their own companies. So we equip them with the skills to succeed. And that's, I think, the, 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 the goal of the university. They need to, to equip the students or the graduates with the basic fundamental skills so they can progress in their life. 